Hey, my name is Billy Hinzo. My wife's name is Brittany Hinzo, and we're involved in a married life small group here at Saddleback Church. We had a men's small group I met with, a women's small group Brittany met with, but we didn't have an actual group for both of us. And so we've been praying about it for a solid couple of years and talking to friends. Hey, what do you guys do for group? What do you do for group? We got married kind of young, so it was a little tough to find people that were in the same life stage as you and could do a small group and scheduling and all that. And finally, we just put together a day at Lake Mission Viejo and said, hey, we might not all know each other, but we all have the same interests and needs, so let's get together and see if this could work. We've gone through all sorts of different kind of struggles, all the way from infertility to financial struggles, or even for me, I was managing a company of multiple retail stores. There was a change of hands in ownership, and ultimately everyone at the company uh, got let go of them. I had to real quick find what I was gonna do with my life, and also had a friend who was looking to do an investment at the time, and he'd been there to watch me through my old company, saw me sell out of my trunk basically for three months figuring out what I was gonna do. And he goes, hey man, I think you have a business that you could really make work. And so he was actually able to come in and help finance a lot of this project. So that was an amazing blessing that you know you can't ask for. And now we have Kingdom Nutrition, this brand new business that literally would not be here if it wasn't for my small group. There's things in life that come about that you cannot plan for. If you are not in a small group right now, you might be fine, you might think everything's okay, but when you know the floor falls out from beneath you, your small group will be there to catch you. And if you don't have one, and not having that there, I can only imagine what that would have been like for me and my family.